threats that land can be taken without compensation from legal owners is extremely dangerous and as such could even lead to civil war. Freedom Front Plus leader Dr. Peter Grunewald uttered this, these words during the parliamentary debate on the acceleration of land reform. According to Dr. Grunewald, the rhetoric of land grabbing without compensation is clear that there is an election in South Africa and that the theme of that election will be land. He says it appears that there is currently a competition between the African National Congress and the economic freedom fighters on who can make the most promises over land to prospective voters. Now to discuss this issue further, in our parliamentary studios, we are joined by EFF Plus uh, leader, Dr. Peter Grunewald. A very good morning to you, doctor, and welcome. Uh, good morning. Talk to me about civil war in relation to land. How did, it come to, how did you come to that conclusion? Well, firstly, you must remember that land is a very emotional issue. And the land issue is not uh, an issue that only started this year. It is coming a long way. In fact, in 2013 already, members of the ANC in Parliament stood up and said that the whites have stolen the land. And since then, uh, even the president says that uh, the land was stolen by the white people in South Africa. So, I mean, over years now, the whites are accused of stealing the land which is just not true. Uh, they worked for the land, they paid for the land, and therefore I say it is a very emotional issue. And now you get people, let's take for instance the EFF uh, leader, who said that uh, I'm not asking you uh, to uh, kill the white people, not now. Mm. Now what is he actually saying? That is instigating violence specifically against white people. And that is actually nothing else than hate speech. Now, for over the years, uh, people, white people have to listen to this uh, allegations made against them. And I spoke to a lot of landowners, especially farmers, and they are quite clear that it is not a matter of just come and take my land uh, or come and grab the land. And that's why I said, in a very serious note, that if uh, anybody thinks that they will be able to just come and grab the land in South Africa, take the land without compensation, they're actually living in a dream world. And I said then that if you want to start a civil war, then they must just do that. And I'm quite serious when I say that, because I also see it as a responsibility from my side to say to people, stop this irresponsible remarks from the white people have stolen the land, we will take the land, the land must be given, uh, it must be expropriation without compensation, and that's why I said those words in the debate in Parliament. Are you then suggesting that farmers and white people have mobilized themselves and to prepare themselves for civil war? No, I don't say that they have prepared themselves for civil war, but uh, they are organized uh, for self-protection. If you look uh, at the spate of farm attacks in South Africa, uh, the communities are organized to protect themselves. And you mustn't see it as an action from the land oversight that will go over to a civil war. It's a matter of they will protect their property. And I mean, if there are people who just want to take the land and just grab the land, then they will protect themselves. And if they're going to do that on a big scale or nationally start with such a land grab, then you will get a situation where they will defend themselves and that defense uh, can create a situation where we can say that we will be having a civil war in South Africa. But is that not a fruitless exercise, perhaps, Dr. Grunewald? Five million white people and, of course, the majority black people in this country. And is that perhaps the correct rhetoric in, re in relation to civil war? If I heard you correctly, uh, if you say uh, uh, it's not necessary to say this, uh, I agree that it is not necessary to make the rhetoric used by other political parties' leaders, even the president of South Africa. Uh, and in numerous uh, previous uh, debates in Parliament, I've asked them to stop this 
In fact, I even laid a charge with the Human Rights Commission against President Zuma when he said that. Uh, but the problem is I don't want to investigate it. And if you leave these people to just continue with this rhetoric, uh, then you can create such an, a, a situation. And that's why I said that they must stop the rhetoric if they want to do it for political gain. Uh, this is not a good subject, because it is an emotional subject, uh, to have a political campaign uh, based on land. And that's what I said that it seems that there is a competition between the ANC and the EFF in the coming election that can say who can make the best promises to the people. And let me also say, mm -hmm. people must not be misled. Just to have a piece of land doesn't make you rich. Uh, in fact, uh, if you have land, you will have to work that land. And we have seen in the whole land reform uh, in South Africa, that especially when it came uh, to the restitution claims, that the claimants didn't want the land. In fact, the Minister of uh, Land Reform, Minister Quinty himself, said that about 93% of the claimants preferred the money and not the land. So I say that it is a political uh, issue uh, that is misused, and I'm asking those leaders to be responsible and to stop using this rhetoric of the white people have stolen the land and we will take the land and to give it back to the people and to say that I'm not asking you to kill the whites, not yet. Uh, those are phrases uh, and words uh, that is very dangerous. Uh, and we don't need that in South Africa. But in principle, as the Freedom Front Plus, are you opposed to land redistribution in South Africa? We said that there are many ways to go uh, on this issue. For instance, we believe in the principle of a willing buyer, willing seller. At the moment, more than 20,000 farms are on the open market, even below market price. So we say that we live in a constitutional democracy, therefore we have to follow the laws of the country. And we say that if you use that principle, then those land or farms are available for less than the market value, uh, which is favorable, and the government should use that opportunity. Uh, and it is wrong for the government to say that because of the principle of history, and maybe then that part of that history was, as you said, that people said it was taken by war. I want to prevent that, so let us not repeat uh, the history in South Africa. Are you of the view then, Doctor, that the white privileged people will go to war over land in this country? Well, if you speak to some people, uh, of course, uh, they will take up arms. Let us be honest with each other. I mean, do you really think that landowners uh, will just sit back uh, and say, OK, I won't do anything. You can just take my land or my farm. Uh, I think you are very naive if you think that landowners will do that. They will protect themselves. And they have the constitutional right to protect themselves. They also have the constitutional right to protect their property. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, I think... Uh, People are misleading themselves if they think they will just be able to come and take the land and the landowners will do nothing about it and just sit back. Doctor, I thank you so much for your time and joining us in our Cape Town studios. Welcome. That was Dr. Peter Grunewald, Freedom Front Plus leader, talking to us about civil war over land in this country.